Hi, this is Peggy Rojas, host of Viviendo Una Vida en Balance. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Madeline, host of Crown and Dangerous here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come back to check out my show, Crown and Dangerous, where Jessica and I talk about our time in the pageant world. A new show comes out bi-weekly on Thursdays. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Crown and Dangerous. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Everybody. Hey guys. Coffee with Keith. And Katie on Public House Media. And we are coming at you not from our Chicago Northside apartment. We are coming at you from Pittsville, Wisconsin, Katie's yeah. hometown. Yeah. We have our coffee with us. Hope you have your coffee with you. Yes. You're so right. uh, we wanted to talk about Christmas breakfasts and how sometimes they're pretty elaborate. People have their own traditions like mm-hmm. casseroles, quiche. 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 All kinds of fun stuff. Um, my preferred breakfast is no breakfast, running straight to the tree. Running straight to the tree. No breakfast. No breakfast. You don't need any breakfast. Christmas morning, Christmas. we're here. Straight to the tree. I realize it's not Christmas morning yet, but this is a trial run. <laughs> we're making sure we're going to get No breakfast, straight. just run straight to the tree. Yeah, right to the tree. Um, but right one of our holiday, one of the things that we like on, on some holidays, though, and more of a special breakfast, at least for Christmas, is uh, is eggnog syrup. Is a like French toast, pancakes, um, waffles with eggnog, eggnog syrup. syrup. Yeah, it is amazing. You can How do you only make have it? it once a year. Um, you put eggnog and butter and sugar. I think that's it. Off to a good start. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's just those three things. Uh, into a saucepan, you heat it, and you make it into syrup, and then it clogs your arteries, and you can't have it again for another year. You only need like one piece of French toast and with drizzled with a little bit of this eggnog syrup. That's it, because it's so rich, it's so so thick yeah. that you, it's not a big breakfast. It's a it's a pretty quick breakfast because you're not going to be able to eat a lot of it. It's yeah. probably that bad for you. Yes. What's well, also bad for you, but also great for you at the same time, is bacon. Didn't make bacon today. Keith, Keith took time to make some breakfast. I came straight to the tree. She came straight to the tree. I woke up a little bit early. I like to like to wake up earlier, get a few things going. So, watch the sunrise with a cup of coffee. And the father-in-law... Had a nice thick pack of thick bacon ready to go this morning, so I wasn't going to let that go to waste, so. She has priorities, and so do I. She's going to sleep. I'm going to sleep, and I'm going to come straight to the tree. But she's going to sleep because she knows I'm going to wake up and take care of things, so i got to stop doing that one day. You still didn't have things taken care of when I woke up. What I didn't uh, have taken care of? You didn't have any I have food on the table. Up. I had food on the table. Nothing was set up. You didn't know the name of our show. Let's talk about this later. I'm not talk about this later. Talk about this now. She wakes up. She wakes up at eight fifty for a nine o'clock show, and she comes out into the kitchen. And she tells me that I don't have stuff ready. Yes. Are you serious? I have a whole plate full of food just ready to eat for you. Bacon. You know I don't like bacon. <laughs> Luis, before passing away, Grandma inherited us the best mashed potato recipe for Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. Mashed potato for breakfast or for Christmas? Just Christmas in general. Like Christmas breakfast? It was like that that was your tradition? Or, or just, just or just for Christmas in general. That's your Christmas recipe. Like mashed so. potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. I do Anything. Too. But we got some cheese. We have some cheesy potatoes that are going to be ready to go for lunch today. We're going to have to have Christmas, Christmas dinner. dinner. Nice. All right. Did you have the Did you have the kitty table too, Louise? You have we the, had the kid, kitty. like all the all the adults. They sit in the kitchen. 
Yeah. And then like some other room in the corner. Yeah. That's where they that's where they just put you. Yeah. All the kids had their all own the little kids table. were like all the kids were like cattle. Little chairs. Like, corral them all in this one little room and have them yeah. sit at this small table. I liked <laughs> having a table that was made for my size. I liked I like the little kid table it's like too. Like some sort of lasagna. Sort of lasagna. <laughs> yeah. No, I always like the kitty table too because it's like, all right, this is our place. Like we were kids, like who wants to go and like listen to like the, you know, the adult conversations? Anyways, who really wants to go listen to that? We had oh. the kid that was that was our table, that was our domain. But the more I think about it, it's like give the kids little chairs and a little table, and obviously put them in their place, and let them know, just based on the size of everything. <laughs> I, All the food was by the by, was by the adult table, yeah. right? Like you have to come to us to get your food. <laughs> no, mom and dad brought food to you. Kids were not expected to. Get. I liked the size of the table. I would have preferred to sit with the adults. Mm -hmm. I was always like that. I don't have time for children. I'd mm. rather speak with adults. Always. The only thing Always. is, adults would, adults didn't want to speak with you, though, yeah. as a little kid. Like, yeah. I want to be with the big people. Well, we don't want you here. Go we, away. We, get, we set up the card table very nicely in your playroom. That's where you'll eat today. Yep. <laughs> we digress. Yep. But those are some of our Christmas holidays. Again, it all starts with coffee, though. He You're did not... have coffee made for me. Mm -hmm. I did appreciate that. Nothing was ready for the show, but he did have coffee. But we're still here, here on time. We're in front of the beautiful tree. Mom and, and Dad's tree. Katie's parents have put up. Looks very nice. I, my tradition with Mom and Dad used to be we'd, um, well, sometimes we'd go to a tree farm Please. and pick out a tree. I won't forget the 2000 Christmas Eve at 12 o'clock. Me and all of my cousins got Game Boy Advances. Ooh. And get yeah. more there. We're like, and we're like seven-year-old children, so imagine pandemonium. <laughs> it's got to be awesome, especially like when you and like all of your cousins are like something got the same thing. That's the thing that my grandparents always did for us. Mm -hmm. um, on my mom's side, my cousins and I, we all match up like very evenly. My brother, my older brother, and my older cousin, 10 years older than us. They're like with less than a year apart. My older sister, my older cousin, two girls, they were like a year apart. And my cousin and my, my younger cousin and myself, he's still a couple of months older than me, but we're just a couple months apart. So it worked out for my grandparents every single year. They got the same presents for the same kids, just in like different colors. So like when we when we were kids, we got the same toys, so we could play with like the same toys together with like our cousin counterpart. You so you didn't you didn't get the same toy as your brother and your sister. You got the same toy as your as my other cousin, your cousin my, your age. Right, my oh, other okay. cousin Isaac. So Eli, my my older cousin Eli, and my brother Scott. Eli and Scott got the same stuff, different color. Drea and Jill, mm -hmm. and same stuff, different color. And me and Isaac got the same stuff, different color. Yeah, That's how it was yeah. uh, for us too. My my cousin and I were were just we're not even a year apart, and we looked just enough alike and had really long blonde hair, and and grandma and grandpa were all about equal, so we always got the same clothes. And so our favorite thing was to was to put on the same clothes and then tell everyone we were twins. <laughs> I don't know why we thought we'd fool the family, but. <laughs> It is going to be just like the parent trap. Yes. Craig, thanks for watching, man. Hey, we Craig. have our coffee with us. Hope you have your coffee with you. We're up in uh we're up in Wisconsin right now. It's not real cold, but we're in the in the middle of the of the woods right now. But they uh, do have snow. Yeah. Craig, I bet you it's nice and warm where you're at. You're out, you're in Florida. Are you in Florida right now or are you back up in the in the Midwest to see some family? Where are you at, Craig? Now that we are all typical South American adults, we uh, we're accustomed to my house. Like at two a.m. after the dinner with our parents, with booze and drink till <laughs> 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 I like that. 
Now, now, now it's great, right? Because it was all about, it was all about like candy and uh, and fudge and toys, and now it's really just about. And now it's all about food. Now it's food. Now it's just food. Food and conversation. Yes. Right. Yep. Now we're adults and we know how it is and we and we ship all the other kids out, out to there. Yep. Craig says it's 61 down here. I'm in Florida. Nothing north of Atlanta for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we have snow and I'm excited. A little bit. We didn't have snow in Chicago. No. So, but when we got up to Wisconsin, we got some snow. We got snow. I'm very happy. We'll have a white Christmas. I've been pretty upset about it. Hasn't felt like Christmas at all. Everything's just brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very exciting to come home, and they have not a lot, but yeah. enough to cover the ground. You know what? I've also this is a this is completely off the cuff. Katie and I have not discussed this yet. That's why. That's how the show that's is. That's how it goes live, though. Just do it. Uh, so they have like a lot of houses. You know, you have a, a nice little Christmas village set up. You know, different yeah. different little houses. With the the Katie's mom has a beautiful setup right over here. I like how he's pointing at it, but yeah. we're not going to show it to you. <laughs> But I've all, I've often thought you have these picturesque, you know, pictures of Christmas and, you know, you create your own little villages for Christmas in your house. Those villages have got to gotta be really just disappointing during the summertime, right? Everything looks so nice with the snow cover and the and everything's lit up with the Christmas list. What does it look like in the middle of the summer at like 95 degrees? You mean if they're real houses? If they were, if it was a real village, it's they'd gotta still be, be pretty. It'd be like a ski town, right? It'd be like a ski town in the middle of August. Nobody's there. Maybe. It's all like all the mountains around. It's like kind of green and brownish, right? No, it's green. It's not really brown. But you know what I'm saying? I think it would still be very pretty. But like, I think of uh, but like a Christmas Carol, in in London. I think it's based in London or England or something like that. And and the town around the Christmas Carol taking place, it, it it looks so nice and it's all magical because there's all snow on the ground and everything like that. What does it look like in, you know, middle of summertime and it's not Christmas? I'm sure it's perfectly lovely. I don't know. I've just always thought, like, all these towns are, like, just towns that only exist for Christmas time. Like, just... Just suspend, just suspended in time only for Christmas. You you actually spend Christmas time at Christmas thinking about how ugly no, things would be. No, I just I just look at the different villages, like all these you know these villages and these scenes that we set up for Christmas time, and I think about like how do they exist when it's not Christmas time? I don't know. It's, like the rest of us, it's just me inside my own head. I the don't houses know. all still look very nice in the summer. Luis says it's seventy nine where he's at. Gracious. Where are right. you? You gonna go gonna go surfing, Louise? Yeah, Louise, where are you based out of, man? You said South America. But well there's a lot of but places where? in South America. Are there? <laughs> Is that one country? We have bacon for breakfast. We were talking about our breakfast rituals. Mm -hmm. If you're just joining us if you if you didn't hear, um Peru. Peru nice. Lima. All right. I like that. Very um, nice. How do you way know this far person? away. Isn't that crazy? Way far, way far away in Peru. Me and Louise have never met before in person. We're meeting over coffee right here. Oh, I thought you were Facebook friends somehow. Louise. Yeah, great place for surfing. There are places to surf outside of California. I don't know. I Ooh. just play. What are you doing? I, I don't know. Louise, do we know each other? I... <laughs> cheers, boys. Cheers. <laughs> I'm confused. I... Oh. People usually watch our show if they're our, our friends, and so I just assumed Louise was your friend. Oh, this is public house media. We have... We are available to everybody. Well, we're friends now. Yeah. It is what matters. Right, Louise? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for making this awkward, Katie. <laughs> I guess this would be good for What's me. Christmas for? Other than awkward Awk conversation. Awkward conversation with a bunch of adults that you haven't seen in a while. So, yeah. how are things? How are the kids? Right. You know? Yeah. It's like when... See you next year. When someone has a new boyfriend. 
but they look too much like the last boyfriend and and so you you think you're talking about the last boyfriend and hey remember when we talked about right. this and they're like nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna call myself out right now we were at a friend's christmas party a couple days ago and um and my friend he introduced me to his girlfriend and i'm pretty sure his i'm pretty sure it was the same girlfriend that i had met couple months ago but at the same but she introduced herself to but I mean we met for a very short period of time so she kind of introduced herself to me as as it was our first time meeting because she hadn't remembered meeting me and I had only slightly remembered meeting her so she said hi nice to meet you I'm like oh hi you know I'm cute or whatever like that I didn't act like we knew each other before and then I just had to go ask my friend like how long have you guys so how long have you guys been together you know and then he told me I was like, okay, this is the same one. <laughs> Two years. Right. Down here, awkward conversations are, are they, daily. Are, 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 are daily? Hey, hey. I don't know. But hey, that's fine. That, 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 that's what makes things exciting, right? A couple hey. of awkward conversations with people that you haven't seen for a while, people that you just met. So yeah. You gotta love it. Especially um, people you just met. So. I'm very good at putting my foot in my mouth with. With any, yeah. Yep. You gotta know, and and here we were talking about this yesterday. If you if you're talking to somebody, and if uh, I'm sure you guys know, but if you're talking to somebody, and if you know you know them by the face, but if you just can't remember their name, best way to remember their name or to find out what their name is, is like to if somebody else comes up that you know, like you know a, a brother or or another close friend, you'd be like, oh hey. Um, this is, you know, you don't, you don't try to say so-and-so, this is so-and-so. You know, if I'm talking to a friend and I don't remember their name, Katie walks up to me. Oh, this is my wife, Katie. And then that other person will then naturally introduce themselves. You know, ideally. Ideally. So then, so then, like, oh, hi, Katie, I'm, you know, I'm Tommy, or whatever. And then, it's like, oh, God. And now I know his name. And then, and then you can, and then you can, like, bring... Then you can bring that other person into the conversation, like you knew how that other, per like you knew that other person's name the whole time. Yeah, Tommy's just been telling me, you know, Tommy and I go way back, you know, and, and me and Tommy and everything, you know, whatever. But, but you don't introduce me. I introduce you all the time. He doesn't. This is the Katie tries but to call I, me I, out I, when his we're friends on. Will say, so who's is this your wife? Katie tries to. All my friends know who you are. We've been together for a decade. Are you serious? Other people, though. You never introduce me to other people. I have to introduce myself to them. She's lying. Or they have to say, hey, Keith, who is this person you brought with you? She's lying. No, I introduce her, I introduce her all the time. because you I don't. All the time. You don't. She only feels the need to call me out on this stuff when we're doing the show. Because yep. she doesn't think so I'll yell at her when we're I on camera. I need sympathy. Well, guess what? <laughs> you hurt my ears. <laughs> So off to a very bad mock Christmas. <laughs> anyway, that those are those are Christmas uh those are Christmas I guess uh traditions. Some know, of them. Some of them. We we usually like to make eggnog syrup. Eggnog syrup with French toast. We'll only be able to eat just one piece of French toast or one om or one yeah. waffle. Because that eggnog syrup it's really thick. Yeah. Um it's but really we didn't just, have any eggnog syrup in the mm. house. And by the time we discovered that, it was too late to go we to didn't, the store. We didn't have enough ingredients to make the eggnog syrup. That's what, that's what you mean. Right. We didn't have eggnog. Didn't we have didn't eggnog. have enough ingredients to make eggnog. Right. So, so we couldn't make the eggnog syrup. But we did have bacon. We got bacon. So we were able to... Ooh, this one's a little floppier. I like a... I like a little and thicker. A little, like a little crispier. I like a little crispy and then a little soggy. Oh, pretty good. Did a good job with the bacon today. So, what do you guys like for 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 a traditional holiday meal? Louise told us that uh, it's mashed potatoes, mashed, kind of like lasagna, a, a, a mashed potato casserole type thing that his grandma used to make for Christmas all the time. What do you guys like? What's your what's your favorite Christmas you know tradition? Famous thing to eat, favorite thing to eat during Christmas. Whatever you guys want, comment on the section below. Yeah. And. And yeah. I'm gonna go have breakfast now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have breakfast. Because Katie breakfast. just woke up. I did, 
because why would I wake up if it wasn't time to go to the tree? It's the holidays. Sleep in, hang out a little bit. My, my parents made a rule that on Christmas morning I wasn't allowed to wake them up before, I don't know, I think it was like six. Um, That's the rule? At a certain point, I was no longer allowed to say, it's Christmas morning at four o'clock in the morning. Well, so, no, uh, what are you, until six I mean, you can break the rule. What are they, you know, they're really going to be Grinches on, on Christmas morning and be like, no, go to bed. You know, no, but just, they might not get up and then you can't open presents. You might as well just wait. He says, special mashed potato with turkey. After that, lightning fireworks at a midnight. At midnight, like in New Year's Eve. Really? Nice. I like that. Interesting. It's pretty good. It's, it's Fireworks for Christmas, I never thought of that. That's it's very cool. interesting the things that are different, yeah. especially in, in different climates right. that that we just don't think about. Right. You know, like yeah. fireworks, you wouldn't think of it. Cause yeah, you wouldn't think of it here. You're not no. going to have fireworks in you you know, only 25 have fireworks degree weather. on Independence Day. Mm. Only. Independence Day... Is and it? a couple of others. It's the only day. Uh, it's only a summer thing, but if it's 80 degrees for you know, for you during Christmas, why not, I guess, yeah. YouTube it is common down mm -hmm. here, down south. Yeah. Interesting. So, cool. Well, that'll do it. Katie's going to go get some... I'm going to have some breakfast. She's going to have some breakfast. I'm going to keep munching on my bacon and eating some coffee. Yeah. Super healthy. Uh, it's Christmas. Hope everybody has a great... Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, yes. Happy New Year, and we will see you for more Coffee with Keith and Katie next week. Everybody take care, and we will see you later. Bye, guys.